it's super hard, man, to like change your mindset from being an employee and being self-employed through your own business to actually being like a business owner and delegating tasks. It's more of a mental block than it actually is like a monetary block. And I always use this mm-hmm. example, like let's say you had $300 in your bank account or $300 in your hand that you wanted to spend, you wanted to turn it into more money. So if you go to a college and you could buy three hundred dollars worth of textbooks and you know you're going to make three grand profit, would you do it? Um, the thing is, what if what if you could get those books for free and now you have three hundred dollars that you wanted to invest in your business to make money? What if you took that three hundred dollars and invested it in someone who works, you know, for let's use three dollars an hour for easy math? You just got a hundred hundred hours of their time. That like you're you're gonna spend so much money on inventory, but what if you, what if you just tried a little bit harder to get free books? Which there's so many ways. I just did a whole YouTube video on that. And then there's so like if you really write everything down that you're doing each day, and look at like the repetitive things, anything you could delegate to a VA. There's so much. And I was just doing that this morning because I've been giving this advice so much to people. I'm like, damn, I should probably be taking my own advice a little bit harder because I was looking at everything. I'm like. I'm leaving a lot of money on the table by, I, I have a lot of stranded inventory and it's not hard to fix. It's tedious. I'm never, I'm never going to do it myself, but I could train a VA to do 